Hi everyone, welcome to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. My name is Artem, and here is the news. 758 days less the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Yesterday's Russian missile and drone attack was the largest combined strike against the Ukrainian energy infrastructure, according to the Energy Ministry, reports Ukrainska Pravda. The Ukrainian air defense destroyed 92 Russian aerial targets out of a total of 151. Among them, 55 drones, 35 Ha-101 and Ha-555 cruise missiles and two Ha-59 guided missiles. At least five civilians were killed, another 14 or even 16 wounded and three missing. Strikes were registered all over Ukraine. In particular, Russian missiles hit the Dnipro hydroelectric power plant eight times, causing serious damage. The strikes caused problems in the energy system and left some of the areas without the electricity. Prime Minister Denis Megal said that it will take about 24 hours to resume the electricity supply. According to the U.S. Institute for the Study of War, with these attacks against the energy infrastructure, the Kremlin may try to disturb Ukraine's defense industry work. In his evening video address, President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky said that everywhere where there were impacts, recovery efforts are underway. All services, repair brigades, rescue teams of Ukraine's state emergency service, police and everyone involved will be working around the clock to overcome this terror to the maximum extent possible. He said that among the damaged areas are the city of Kharkiv and Kharkiv region, Sumy region, Zaporizhia, Dnipro and the Dnipro region, Krivirih, Poltava, Odessa region, the city of Khmelnytsky and Khmelnytsky region, Vinnytsia and Ivano-Frankivsk region. The head of state held a Supreme Commander-in-Chief's staff meeting primarily focusing on protection and recovery operations. We would really appreciate if you could recommend us to your friends and family, as well as share information on social media. This way more people would learn about the podcast and truth about Russia's invasion. The Financial Times claims that the United States has reportedly urged Ukraine not to hit Russian oil refineries and other energy infrastructure facilities, as it is concerned that it could lead to higher energy prices and further escalation, reports European Pravda. One source said that White House is increasingly frustrated about Ukrainian strikes on oil refineries, terminals and other energy infrastructure in Russia's west, which have affected Russian production in this area. One of the reasons for the U.S. concern is that a decline in Russian exports could trigger a global rise in world prices, as Russia remains one of the largest exporters despite the sanctions. The rise in fuel prices could affect the outcome of the upcoming U.S. presidential election. Washington is also concerned that in response to Ukrainian strikes, Russia could deal damage to energy infrastructure important to Western countries, such, for example, as the pipeline that pumps oil from Kazakhstan through Russia for export to global markets. In response to requests for comments, the U.S. National Security Council said the U.S. does not encourage or enable Ukrainian strikes on targets in Russia. Mikhailo Podolyak, the advisor to the head of the president's office, denied that such requests took place, reports Slovo i Dilo. Quote, fuel is a basic tool for conducting military operations on the territory of Ukraine. Therefore, of course, Ukraine will destroy all this supply infrastructure or military infrastructure that allows the Russian army to conduct operations on our territory, unquote, said Podolyak. He added that after two years of full-scale war, no one will dictate the terms of it to Ukraine. Olga Stefanishina, Deputy Prime Minister for European and Euro-Atlantic Integration, has said that oil refineries in Russia are legitimate targets for the Ukrainian military. She added that in this case, Ukraine is acting in accordance with NATO standards. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine released a statement anticipating potential efforts to use the shooting incident at a concert by the band Picnic at the Crocus City Hall in Krasnogorsk, Moscow Oblast against Ukraine Report Suspilne. The ministry categorically rejected accusations made by Russian officials that Ukraine had any involvement in the shooting, in the result of which at least 60 Russians were killed. Quote, we consider such accusations to be a planned provocation by the Kremlin to further fuel anti-Ukrainian hysteria in Russian society, create conditions for increased mobilization of Russian citizens to participate in the criminal aggression against our country, and discredit Ukraine in the eyes of the international community, unquote, says the statement. 
The ministry reminded that the Russian regime has a long history of orchestrating bloody provocations by the special services, such as the terrorist attack on the Kashirska highway in 1999. Ukraine urged the international community to strongly reject Russia's false accusations of Kyiv's alleged involvement in the shooting in Krasnogorsk and to strengthen support for Ukraine in countering Russia's illegal aggression. Thank you for listening to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast. We're a commercial initiative of just two people and we need your help to grow. Share information about the podcast, rate us in the app, subscribe to our Patreon. Your support enables us to continue with our work. We call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine.